so if you've clicked on my video it's because you are wondering what you need what you don't need for Great Wolf Lodge. So my family and I just got back a few days ago and I thought why not share our experience um, because I had so many questions before we left and I had nowhere to go to to find those answers. So I'm just gonna lay it out. So let's get this video started. So upon booking your trip, no matter how you book it, you can download the app, Great Wolf Lodge app. And by doing that, any questions that you have, you can message Willow. So Willow is their, I guess, assistant. So you message Willow anything you may have, any concerns or questions you may have, and she will message you back promptly with an answer. So um, it's a really neat app and it also shows you a lot of activities and things that they're offering. So yeah, upon booking, you'll get your reservation number and then you can use this app. So once the day comes that you actually have your reservation and you are heading to Great Wolf Lodge, check-in is until 4 p.m. So uh, what I thought was really neat about this is although you can't check into your room, you can start using all the facilities at 1 p.m. So they have lockers, change rooms in the pool area. There's restaurants, there's so many things to see, an arcade. So upon arriving, let's say you get there at 12.30, um, they'll give you these green bracelets. The bracelets are fantastic um, because not only, not only are they to show that you are a part of Great Wolf Lodge, but they also have a chip in it. So you open your room door with your bracelets. So there's a little chip that will unlock your room it also connects anything else in the whole facility to your room so if you wanted to go to the gift shop and buy something or go to a restaurant or a bar and get a drink or get a sandwich you just swipe your bracelet this is really awesome because you don't need to bring your wallet everywhere with you and have the fear you're going to drop it or somebody might take it from you if you're swimming and you leave it in the stroller so these bracelets are such a convenient thing to have so good job Great Wolf Lodge on these multi-use bracelets so when you arrive at Great Wolf Lodge you will see a little tent that's their health check-in so you go through there you show your proof of vaccination so first and second vaccination and they ask you a few questions you show them your ID and then they lead you towards um, the welcome sign in the front of the building you drive through that welcome sign and somebody will come out wearing a mask and they actually register you from your car so we showed up and the gentleman got all four of our four of our bracelets told us what what room we would be staying in and how to get to our room what floor and the closest parking to our room the staff is so so helpful even upon arrival so once they tell you where to park you don't have to pay for parking um, a lot of the rooms have um, back patios so if you're on the main floor you can actually park right behind your room and then just unload the car right into your room we were on the first floor so it was absolutely fantastic i love the first floor um, i'll go into a little more about what floors are which and what they are used for so you can determine what floor would be best for you and your kids if you're deciding to go to great wolf lodge we were actually in room 1012 and that is the kids camp um, room so they're all themed rooms or most of them are themed rooms I should say for kids so this one had and I'll include a little video um, this one had uh, it looks like a little fort almost and when you walk into this log cabin fort on the right there's a single bed and on the left there are twin bunk beds so my little guys are too small to be on a top bunk right now they're two and three but um, it would be such a great option for a little bit older kids that you know that would be like a wow factor so these kids get their own little area and then mom and dad are separated by a wall and I believe we had a queen size bed which both of our boys ended up sleeping in our bed <laughs> both nights so we didn't get too much sleep at Great Wolf Lodge but um it was a really really cool themed concept that they have going there and there are so many different types of themes um, if you look on the website they'll show you different suites that are available I believe the cheapest ones are just like the standard room suites and those don't have any like themed beds for the kids but they're cost effective so if you're trying to save some money um, you can go that route as well um, for our room we booked last minute and I think for two nights it was about a thousand dollars Canadian so um, it's a little bit pricey but my husband and I just justify it because if you think about like they're running a full water park, the crazy amount of staff they have working there, like it just must cost them so much to keep running. So 
anyway, it's not something we do all the time. So um, we decided to treat our boys and treat ourselves. Okay, so the building has four floors. So on the first floor, um, there's an arcade, the entire water park, and a bowling alley. So I know it sounds kind of overwhelming, like why would you want to stay on the first floor if all of those attractions are located there? But for us, like I said before, our parking right behind our room, we could easily pack, unpack, head to Clifton Hill if we wanted to. It was so convenient. The only disadvantage to the first floor that I will say is at night and early in the morning, you can just hear pitter patter of kids feet running um, across the ceiling. So I guess from the second floor, but I'm used to hearing noise all the time because I have two little kids, so it didn't bother me, but it might bother someone else. So I thought I should mention that. So the second floor has the main lobby. So if you come in and you register, um, you would do that from the second floor. And on the second floor, that's where uh, it's like a big open area. There's a huge fireplace, some talking animals, and that's where you're gonna find story time every night at 7.30. And I'm gonna get back to story time because I have a crazy mom moment to share with you. So second floor, registration, lobby, and they have a huge buffet restaurant, which is to die for. I'm also gonna mention with the restaurant, um, the allergies. If your kid has allergies or your kids have allergies, this restaurant's amazing. Chef Paul came out and spoke to me because I have allergies. I am um, anaphylactic to nuts. And he went through almost every item with me. They are so careful with COVID and um, allergies. Obviously, a lot of kids have allergies. So you can feel safe there eating and the food is incredible. And the prices are really good as well. So check out that buffet. It's really good. So the third and fourth floors. Staff told me that the fourth floor is the best, most quiet floor to stay on. From my experience of being there with my boys, I'm just gonna say I would probably rather the first floor. This is because the fourth floor, um, well, second, third, and fourth all have balconies, right? And I just don't feel comfortable with my kids if I'm not looking and they go out on a balcony. It's a little bit of a fear for me. Also, if you have heard anything about Great Wolf Lodge and their magic or their magic quest. So if you haven't heard about this, listen up. The third and fourth floor is full of magic. So there are treasure chests and photos on the wall and um, caves and all these hidden little secrets and treasures that the kids can go and explore. So all day long, they run and they explore these treasures with their magic wands. These magic wands can be purchased at the gift shop and that as well is on the second floor, I believe. Um, there are all different types that your child gets to choose from and they also get to choose little, um, it's almost like gems or like add-ons to the wand. So I think that like there's a little mermaid add-on if you have a little girl or there's um, a little skeleton, like a little skull if you have like a little boy. You can really customize your magic wands and upon buying it, they tell you all the rules about the wands so you don't leave them unattended. They're full of magic. It's a really neat, neat thing that the kids get to go through. You can buy these individually or it comes with the paw pass. So you can purchase the paw pass, I believe, before arriving or you can purchase it at the gift shop um, when you do arrive on the second floor. And it's just a pass that includes a bunch of um, like activities so you're not buying everything individually. Some say that it's cheaper to do the paw pass. It's sick, it starts at $69.99. We didn't do it because our kids are so young so we don't, we didn't think that they really needed all the add-ons. Have a look into the paw pass. It comes with a bunch of points for the arcade. You get your magic wands, you get a uh, magic quest points, you get some points for the bowling alley. I think you get two free games and there's a few other things. Free wolf ears from the gift shop. But yeah, it just wasn't the right choice for us. The wands were $22 each and that worked perfect. My boys literally all day were finding magic. So in my opinion, I just wouldn't like to stay on the third and fourth floor and that's just because the amount of kids running around doing magic might be a little overwhelming. But again, the magic quest to me is like the best thing other than the water park there because your kids, if your kids are like my kids, the magic is literally all they cared about. Like, let's go do magic, mom. Go, go, go. So we spent a lot of time on the third and fourth floor and I could see people coming in and out of their rooms and like to have that many kids around um, while you're trying to nap or rest or while your baby's trying to nap. 
Um, to me, maybe a little bit hard, but again, if you have little kids, you're used to all the noise. So yeah, when booking a room, just think about those four floors, okay? And if you have any questions, you can uh, message me directly. So I do wanna add about Great Wolf Lodge as well. I had anxiety about bringing my kids just anywhere. <laughs> so to a restaurant, to a public place, just because they're small and they get into trouble and they yell. And when you're at Great Wolf Lodge, it's like you're in a club with all the other parents. So you look at each other like, we're in this together. <laughs> so even when you bring your kids to the restaurant, the servers are so incredible and the staff is so helpful they eat our server Cade she was great and she offered to watch our kids while we went up to the buffet and got some food everybody's just so helpful you know like don't worry if your kids fill a milk that's our job like just enjoy yourself try to relax I found that a lot of the staff there had that same like mentality and attitude they were just there to help and to like like be a shoulder to lean on you know like when our kids are freaking out they just look at us being like it's cool like you are in this club everybody's in it together like, let's just let the kids have fun and um, nobody's judgy and no one's I don't know I don't know you know how sometimes you take your kids out to dinner or like shopping and people give shoot you the people shoot you those judgy looks like god why is he screaming you know at great wolf lodge it's like all the stress is gone all the anxiety is gone you can just let your kids be kids because that's what everybody is doing so um that's my favorite part that was my absolute favorite part about the whole place just the environment um kids can be kids and adults can be adults and you know relate with other parents around so that was really nice. Um, with COVID restrictions in the building itself, so everywhere in the hotel, like, like anywhere, you have to stay six feet apart and wear a mask all the time, including the kids. So my little guy's two and he won't wear a mask and nobody said anything to me and I saw other little toddlers that you know, are too young and they don't understand. The staff there seem like they are taking all precautions. There's always somebody out cleaning. There's hand sanitizer everywhere. They're taking a lot of precautions. So I felt comfortable in that aspect. But when you enter the pool area, it's like all bets are off. Like there are no masks. There are no like stay six feet apart. Everybody, it's just like a free for all. It's kind of scary. But you know, that's, if you're going swimming, you're going to a water park, like you can't expect anything super safe, I guess, because kids are gonna be kids. You're not gonna swim with a mask on. So I guess what I'm saying is, if you are prepared for the water park, try to get a spot in the water park that is kind of distanced from other people or kids or parents, although it's really hard because there are so many people in that water park. So I will say that is the only thing that I disliked about the Great Wolf Lodge is that there was no capacity that I saw in the pool area. So there was so many people that it's kind of up to you to keep your distance. So just keep that in mind when taking your kids to the water park. A neat thing about the water park is they do have life jackets. You don't have to bring them. I forgot our life jackets, like for my little guy. We got halfway there and I like had a, you know, a meltdown. I'm like, I forgot their life jackets. We're gonna have to buy some. But no, they have all sizes of life jackets. They're free to use and there's somebody there sanitizing and cleaning them at all times. So that was really nice. We appreciated that. In the pool area, there are restaurants. You don't need to bring a wallet because you have your bracelet and you can just tap to pay. So that's really, really convenient. Um, as well, there are change rooms, washrooms, and lockers that you can rent for the day. Um, we didn't rent a locker because we just brought our stroller. So that's another great thing. If you have little guys, you can bring your stroller and just keep some of your stuff in the stroller if need be. Yeah, I loved that you could bring your stroller in there because it, it helped us, you know, when you've got like towels and all this jazz. So you don't need to bring your own towels. They have a towel service there. We decided to bring our own. Um, but keep in mind, they do have towels, so you do not have to bring your own. So a few things that I want to mention that Great Wolf Lodge has to offer that I wasn't sure of before we booked our trip. So my husband and I like to have a glass of wine here or there, or he likes to have a beer sometimes. So we were kind of nervous, like, are you allowed to bring um, like a drink or two to the Great Wolf Lodge or like in a cooler or a Yeti, like while you're at the pool? I'm not sure like what the rules are, but every parent that I saw had their Yeti or their, like their thermos. Um, and I saw them putting drinks in it. We had our Yetis and I would put like a cooler in there or Trevor would put a beer 
and you could bring your cooler anywhere and each room has a fridge, a microwave, a sink, and a little table for the kids to eat at. So if you wanted to bring your own food and save money on restaurants there, you're totally able to do that. I brought Lunchables, fresh fruit, graham crackers, just little picky things that the kids could eat throughout the day that we didn't need to sit down in a restaurant. But yeah, if you're looking to save some money, for sure bring your own food. There, are, There is more than enough room in the fridge that they provide for you. Um, our fridge was full and we only paid for the one meal. But yeah, just know that you can bring your own food, you can bring your own booze, and if you don't bring your own um, alcohol and you want some alcohol, every single food spot, every like coffee shop, every place by the pool sells alcohol. So wine, coolers, margaritas, daiquiris. Bring your own food, you can bring your own booze. And if you don't wanna bring your own food or booze, you don't have to. So there's booze everywhere and there's food everywhere. So I am gonna mention um, about story time. So I talked about this earlier in the video and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it right now. And this is important for you moms or dads because story time is the best time at Great Wolf Lodge. So as I said, on the second floor, it's the lobby, big open area, and these talking animals. So there's a moose, a bear, and I will include a video so you can see this because this is my this is my kid's favorite and my favorite part of Great Wolf Lodge. Story time starts at 7.30. So we arrived there on a Sunday, went to the water park, did a whole bunch of arcade stuff, and then we went for story time, got in our PJs. We arrived at 7.30, okay? So it starts at 7.30. We were turned away and we were told that that we missed it that all the mats were full and they couldn't attend the story time and my kids were shattered like it was awful i wish i knew earlier so that's why i'm telling you guys if you want to make it to story time you need to get there at like seven maybe earlier you can't miss it because it is the best best thing at great wolf lodge so, you know, after being in the water park all day, you go back, you get your PJs on, you go to the second floor main lobby and you get ready for story time. So don't miss it, get there early because my kids were so mad. <laughs> One other thing I did wanna to mention too, before story time, some I'm not sure what time they decide to do this. I think it's like all different times during the day, but I think his name's Wally the Wolf. I could be saying his name wrong, I don't know. But he comes out and all the kids get to hug him and kiss him and love on him and he waves and he dances. That's another really fun part of Great Wolf Lodge for the kids. The kids get to enjoy actually meeting the wolf, so that's really cool. The proximity to Clifton Hill, if you wanna do any other attractions in Niagara Falls, is eight minutes away. So there are a lot of resorts that are right in Clifton Hill that are literally like a one minute walk from your hotel door. This is not, so that would deter some people, but for me, I wanted to stay in the hotel. I didn't have many places that I wanted to take my kids because they're too little. Maybe next time we will, but again, eight minutes isn't that far. To some it is, to my husband it is, to me it's not. So yeah, proximity to Clifton Hill is about eight minutes. So a few things that I want to include that I personally did not like about Great Wolf Lodge, which isn't a lot because I love Great Wolf Lodge. So um, a lot of the arcade games say out of order or they're not working. I'm just assuming it's because they were closed down for quite some time due to COVID and they just haven't had the chance to get them up and running or fixed yet but it was kind of a bummer because the smaller stuff that my two-year-old really wanted to do, like the carousel, he was unable to do. So yeah, a lot of the games say out of order, which is which was kind of a bummer. But again, there was so much other stuff to do, it didn't really matter. The wave pool was not working. You could go in the wave pool um, and it's huge, but yeah, the wave pool wasn't working. So that was kind of a bummer as well. And you weren't allowed to pass the five foot mark. So you couldn't go into the deep end or the lifeguards would blow the whistle and tell you no, which I'm not sure what that was about. So I thought I would include that. The lazy river, again, not working. <laughs> a few things weren't working, but I, but there are so many other things to do that I, you can't dwell on the stuff that isn't working because the abundance of other things is like, overwhelming so it's okay so because my little guys are so young when you originally walk into the water park they take your measurement so you only have to do this upon the first time of entering the water park the lifeguard will determine your height and then give you a 
colored bracelet. So whatever your color is, they will tell you what slides and attractions you can go on. My guys could go on five water slides, which is pretty good for a two and three year old. Yeah, they spent all day going up and down and up and down. So yeah, depending on the height of your child, that'll depend on what attractions he or she can do. And again, there are so many that it doesn't even matter. Even if they can do four, all day my kids were occupied, so. Okay, well, I think I covered most of everything. So I hope this video helps those of you that are trying to decide whether to go to Great Wolf Lodge. Um, so many things I have covered. If I forgot anything, drop your questions in the comment box below and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching this video. If it's helped you, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and do that. So thanks guys.